Now, in terms of interior design, there's nothing more on trend than copper, and I love it myself. I want to make a beautiful lampshade using just a series of these copper coat hangers in a circle like that. So out the middle of this, I now want to get my hole saw and cut that hole there. Put some holes into that. Simple. It's going to look awesome, actually. I need to just think how I'm going to finish this ply, because I'm not sure if plywood goes with copper. Ooh, maybe it does. Get a nice contrast going there. Right, hole saw time. If I just keep drawing enough lines where they meet will be the middle. Bingo. Right, hole saw. Right, so we've got the middle out of our circle. Now usually that would go in a bin, but I think today that is going to be utilised to make the top part of the lampshade hanger. So I'm going to have to cut another hole out of that with a smaller hole saw, and that's what's going to sit on top of the lamp holder. And that will sit there with a series of holes in it, and hopefully about 16 holes, I reckon. So let's get a smaller hole saw. Okay, now for the fun bit, working out how many holes I'm going to drill for my coat hangers to fix into. So I guess it's a case of drawing through the centre. I suppose just keep dividing it by two, that's the easiest way to do it, isn't it? Not a science this bit, this is being creative and the organic design process, which is making it up as you go along to you and I. Right, so eight, how many coat hangers have I got? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Right, let's double up, let's do the same again. Split all of them into two. 16 coat hanger cage lamp. I'm going to hold 10 mil in. Right, I've got my hole centres for 16 holes. Now, do I drill it first or sand it first? I think I'll drill it and then sand it afterwards to clean it all up once I've drilled the holes as well. So. Technically speaking, that's about right. Okay, will the coat hanger even fit in that hole? So I've just had a thought that because it bends it might not. Now it goes in that bit but it isn't going to go in the curve is it? So I'm going to have to drill it out slightly bigger. That's annoying because I wanted it nice and snug. Every day's a school day. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit here because the coat hanger fits perfectly in that hole and I want it to be snug I'm going to use a step drill just to open up the holes on both sides and also it'll save me sanding it so I'm being lazy really. That is so much neater and that will allow the coat hanger to come in at an angle. Who wanted 16 coat hangers? Eight would have been so much better. Right, so now I've opened up these holes. Hopefully the coat hanger will... Oh, that's nice and snug that is. In fact, it's so snug that's not even moving now. And actually, if I painted this piece of ply a dark colour, then that would almost be invisible and it would look like these are all just hovering, which would add to the illusion 
I really like that. These will then ping. Sand this, paint it black, and assemble. Hehe. <laughs> There we go, <laughs> ready for a lick of paint, let it dry, and then the fun begins. Usually when you're spraying something with paint, it's always really awkward knowing how to hold it up, but this has got some little holes in it, so I can put it on a hook, there we go, now I can spray it without leaving any marks all over my workbench. Right, there we go. Let that dry. Flip it over, do the other side. Then make myself a lampshade. Cup of tea time. Right. Has it dried? Oh, lovely. It's kind of a shame to cover up a gorgeous piece of plywood, but to be honest, that was just an off-cut. It wasn't that nice anyway. However, the addition of these little beauties. Oh, yeah. The contrast between the black and the copper is perfect. I'd like to uh, claim that that was my designer eye, but actually it was somebody behind the camera and they're a good idea. Don't like to admit that though. Okay, this is where I need about 10 sets of hands, isn't it? I did, I did want the hole to be tight, like a, a tolerance fit, interference fit, but This is getting quite boring already. Oh, it's going to look good though. Glad I went for 16 and not 8. But I think it's more or less there. Ugh. Tell you what, it looks cool. Do I need to wrap this wire around each one to hold them apart at nice intervals or will it just sit? Because that looks bang on. This is going to be time consuming, isn't it? Oh, get off. Cool, I'll tell you what, that was a good guess. How much wire I needed. I'd like to say that was carefully calculated, but it wasn't. Okay, make sure that's not sharp. Right, now, if I can somehow get my arm into the centre, will that support itself. Yes! Hey, look at that! I tell you what, that matte black with the copper pinging and the little bit of brass wire looks perfect. And imagine with a filament bulb in the middle casting all those shadows onto the wall of the houseboat. That is going to look bang on. Right, to the houseboat! <laughs>